So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is an application logon that was taken a long time. And matter of fact, into the minutes, and sometimes uh, the user would get um, disconnected and not even be able to log on to the application. Well, the first thing we did was we took a capture. We took a trace. Everybody says, let's take a trace. Of course, you take a trace and you look at this thing, and it's like, whoa, where do I start? It's a bunch of protocol goulash. And it's the same thing for me until I zero in on the TCP session or on the particular um, application or on the particular client or server, it's protocol goulash. And so we have to zero in on these things. Now, we found that there was um, a problem logging on, and so we kind of suspected that it might be have something to do with the domain controller. So, I loaded a QCheck agent on the server and on the workstation. Now QCheck is a uh, freebie from Ixia Communications and you can go out on the web and find QCheck out there. You can download it, put it on your server, put it on your workstation and then you can do a throughput or a latency test to find out how it's performing at layer 4. Well we did that and we found that it was giving us very poor performance uh, with other tasks. Now, domain controller usually isn't doing file copies and those sort of things. It's basically doing security authentication. And when we went to do throughput tests, we found that it was very poor uh, for copying files or, or doing a queue check. Now, what we found when we went in and looked at that poor performance was, and if you take a look here, a, a checksum error, you'll see down here TCP checksum error incorrect and I blew this up so that you could see it, TCP checksum error, or checksum incorrect. Now, what that means is, is that the TCP checksum calculated by the server was wrong when it went out on the wire. Now, it can have a good data link control, it can have a good IP uh, header checksum, and a good data link layer checksum, but have a bad TCP checksum, and that's exactly what we found in this case. Now, we wanted to find more occurrences of this and see how often this was occurring, but we still wanted to see all the other packets, so we used Ethereal, which is a free network analyzer, public domain, that you can find at ethereal.com. By going in and doing a um, find by a, a string, you can find in the decode TCP checksum, and I just put TCP check, and then I click find, and then boom, I would find several TCP checksum errors. So TCP checksum incorrect, checksum incorrect, checksum incorrect. Not all, but many of these packets had bad TCP checksums. So thought to myself, well, what could be possibly causing that to occur? And then I went to the machines, the servers, network interface card. And I found that checksum offload was enabled for both transmit and receive to the network interface card. Now, the reason why this has started to be popular is because Microsoft announced in 2001 that they did some tests with network interface cards that did the offload of the TCP checksum in hardware instead of in their operating system. And so by using the hardware NIC card as the TCP checksum offload device using its processor, the server had much better performance because it didn't have to check all these checksums and calculate them. So everyone beat a path to this particular door. All the network interface card manufacturers started performing TCP checksum offloading in the actual NIC hardware. Well, what we found was any NIC that we found in a Windows 2000 machine, a Windows 2000 server, that had TCP checksum receive and transmit enabled, those were the perpetrators of the bad TCP checksums. And we exercised those machines by using the QCheck agent so that we could see the machine truly with an offered load. And we did find that and corroborate that other domain controllers suffered too 
but we didn't find it on Windows 2003 server. We only found it on Windows 2000 servers, but we found it on pretty much every one that we looked for. So it was kind of my belief that perhaps we have found a little problem here with Microsoft's operating system in regards to how it allows in Windows 2000 the TCP checksum offload to the network interface card because we found multiple of these. Now, after we turned a TCP checksum offload off, in both cases of an HP network interface card and also a 3Com network interface card, the performance went up. So it didn't matter what network interface card vendor it was, the performance went dramatically up when we changed to turn TCP checksum offload off on Windows 2000 um, servers. And we calculated that out by doing a Q-check measurement and we got much better performance, orders of magnitude greater performance and uh, an absence of TCP checksums. So we very meticulously changed network interface card vendors, we turned TCP checksum offload on and off and every single time we found that if you're using a Windows 2000 server with TCP checksum offload at least in the case of Hewlett Packard and also 3Com network interface cards that they occasionally cause TCP checksum miscalculations to occur from those devices. So, might be a good idea for you to go out and check all your Windows 2000 Active Directory servers and find out if they have the same thing turned on and you might want to see if you're getting TCP checksum errors and if you are turn off TCP checksum offload and I'll bet you your problem goes away and your authentication occurs faster and your users of these applications are much happier.